Now, in a mega jolt through the Samajwadi Party, Mulayam Singh Yadav's daughter-in-law, Aparna Yadav, has now joined the BJP weeks before the crucial Uttar Pradesh polls. After coming to the Saffron Party's fold, Akhilesh Yadav's sister-in-law said that she, was, she has been deeply inspired by Prime Minister Modi and his policies. She's also pledged to do the best for society in her capacity. She's also added that the nation will always come first for her. UP BJP Chief Swatantra Dev Singh, UP Deputy Chief Minister Kesha Prasad Maurya have welcomed Aparna into the BJP's fold. This is being seen now as the BJP's surgical strike on the Yadav household after SP poached 11 Saffron Party MLAs. Aparna is the wife of Mulayam Singh's younger son, Pratik Yadav. Pratik is the stepbrother of SP Chief Akhilesh Yadav. Aparna has contested the 2017 Uttar Pradesh Assembly election from Lucknow Kant seat on SP ticket. She lost to the BJP candidate Rita Bahuguna Joshi by a margin of 33,796 votes. Now this time Aparna is likely to be fielded as a BJP candidate. Bharatiya Janta Party ka member banne ka ek su avsar diya. Main jaisa ki sabhi jante hi hain, main hamesha se prabhavit rehti thi. आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी से और मेरे चिंतन में हमेशा राष्ट्र सबसे पहले है मुझे लगता है कि राष्ट्र का धर्म मेरे लिए सबसे ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है और मैं बस यही बोलना चाहती हूँ कि अब मैं राष्ट्र की आराधना निकले करने निकली हूँ इसलिए आप सभी लोगों का सहयोग भी बहुत अनिवार्य है और मैं बहुत बहुत हमेशा से प्रभावित रहती हूँ जिस प्रकार की कार्यशैली है चाहे वो स्वच्छ भारत मिशन हो चाहे वो महिलाओं के लिए स्वावलंबी जीवन हो चाहे वो रोजगार हो मैं हमेशा से भारतीय जनता पार्टी की स्कीम से हमेशा से बहुत बहुत प्रभावित रहती हूँ और यही कहूँगी कि जो भी कर सकूँगी अपनी क्षमता से करूँगी श्रीमती अपर्णा यादव जी भारतीय जनता पार्टी परिवार का हिस्सा बनी है मैं सबसे पहले भारतीय जनता पार्टी परिवार में आपका स्वागत करता हूं मुझे यह कहने में प्रसन्नता हो रही है कि निश्चित तौर से श्री मुलायम सिंह यादव जी की पुत्र बधु होने के बाद भी समय समय पर आपने जो अपना विचार आप सब मीडिया के मित्रों के माध्यम से रखा है वह विचार सदैव से मुझे उनका भाजपाई लगता था कि वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी परिवार के लिए उपयुक्त एक मातृशक्ति के क्षेत्र में नेत्री हैं बहुत दिनों से चर्चा के बाद आज उन्होंने यह फैसला लिया कि हम भारतीय जनता पार्टी परिवार का हिस्सा बनेंगे all right, let me quickly cut across to Palmi Saha, who's been uh, following up on this story. Palmi, a surgical strike indeed by the BJP. It seems like a massive embarrassment for the SP, their own daughter-in-law. In fact, we're looking at Akhilesh's sister-in-law joining the BJP. And she says that she's admired the BJP so long and now has joined the BJP because she wants to work for the nation. The question here is, will she be given a ticket and from the same constituency from Lucknow, Kent? Well, of course, uh, that of course uh, announcement is awaited from the Bharatiya Janata Party. Whether Aparna Yadav has had her wish granted, if you may, by the Bharatiya Janata Party, she is keen on contesting the elections from the Lucknow Kant seat itself. Uh, we do know that Rita Bahuguna Joshi, another member of Parliament from the Bharatiya Janata Party, who in fact uh, is again someone who has very newly joined the Bharatiya Janata Party, is very keen that her son contest from the Lucknow Kant seat. Uh, she has in fact said that if the party has a rule of one uh, family, one ticket only. Uh, so she is willing to give up her Lok Sabha seat in order to have her son contest from the Lucknow Kant seat. So it remains to be seen eventually if Aparna Yadav has eventually been able to bag the Lucknow Kant seat for herself. But the BJP, of course, uh, you know, touting this as a tit for tat, especially after three sitting ministers in the UP government and several MLAs, uh, in fact, uh, left the Bharatiya Janata Party and joined the Samajwadi Party. The big blow to the BJP very recently, of course, uh, 
uh, you know, suggesting that the BJP was anti-backward classes, that the BJP was not working uh, for uh, the poor, for uh, the economically deprived, for the youth of uh, the state. And that is why they have, in fact, joined forces with the Samajwadi Party. Now, the BJP, of course, is touting this as a blow to the SP, because what they're saying is a family member of the Mulayam Singh Yadav family has, in fact, joined uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party. And this is embarrassing for the SP. It remains to be seen what SP Chief Akhilesh Yadav has to say when he addresses that press conference this afternoon in Lucknow at 1 p.m. where it is being speculated that he could possibly announce that he is going to contest the UP elections, which is of course going to make the, make the UP elections extremely uh, interesting, given that first with the announcement of Yogi Adityanath contesting the UP elections, it came after 15 years that a sitting Chief Minister had thrown his hat in the ring and had decided to contest the elections. Mayavati had not contested the elections when she was in power between 2000 2007-2012, Akhilesh Yadav was then made Chief Minister when the Samajwadi Party won in 2012 by his father. He had not contested the Assembly elections. He did not go on to contest the polls in 2017. Yogi Adityanath was made Chief Minister by the BJP at that po point of time, brought in from the Lok Sabha, made Chief Minister of UP. When the BJP won a victory, he had not contested a Lok Sabha uh, uh, an Assembly election. He has chosen to contest the election. And now, if Akhilesh Yadav throws his hat in the ring, it makes that election much, much more interesting and the BJP has already anticipated that announcement because Keshu Prasad Morya did allude to that when he spoke from the stage today at the joining of Aparna Yadav. He said in fact uh, that you know it is uh, quite surprising that you know he's not found the courage yet to announce his nomination for the Uttar Pradesh uh, elections especially because we announced uh, the fact that our top leadership including Yogi Adityanath and Keshu Prasad Morya himself will be contesting the elections in the first uh, notification in the first list of the party the party itself, even though the seats where they will be contesting from fall in the fifth and the sixth phase of uh, the UP elections, Gorakhpur Urban and Sirathu in Prayagraj district. So it is making this election extremely interesting. Aparna Yadav, of course, claiming that she has been inspired, influenced by the BJP Prime Minister Modi's working style for a very, very long time. And that is why she's chosen to go with the BJP. But it does indicate that there has been a rift within the family for a very, very long time. Wow for a very, very long time, and that is why there is a possibility that, uh, in fact, uh, you know, she has uh, chosen to join hands with the BJP, like you said. It remains to be seen if, indeed, she is uh, allowed to contest from Lucknow Kant. Nabila? It's uh, the big question here. She's joined the BJP, but will she be given a ticket? We're waiting for a response to come in from the SP. It's a serious jolt. Uh, that the SP has received in Uttar Pradesh right ahead of polls after close to 16 MLAs uh, have joined hands with the SP. Here is a massive surgical strike indeed that the BJP has carried out with Aparna Yadav, who is the daughter-in-law of Mulayam Singh. Akhilesh Yadav's sister-in-law now joins the BJP. Now, let me take you through uh, an insight into who is Aparna Yadav. In fact, Akshita Nanda Gopal explains to us what is her political trajectory. Let's cut across. Uh, let's get your details about Aparna Yadav. Who is she? Is she a big political player in Uttar Pradesh? And what really does this mean for both the SP and the BJP? First, remember that the reason she's so very important in the scheme of things in Uttar Pradesh is because she's the daughter-in-law of SP patriarch Mulayam Singh Yadav. That means that she is, in fact, uh, Akhilesh Yadav is uh, uh, also her brother-in-law. He is the stepbrother of Pratik Yadav, who she is married to. So Mulayam's younger son, Pratik Yadav, is married to to Aparna. Now, Aparna has in fact been in talks with the BJP for quite some time now reportedly and that's what's resulted in this development. She has contested elections previously. In 2017, she contested the UP polls from Lucknow Cantonment. She didn't have a very successful electoral outing because she lost to the BJP interestingly to Rita Bahukana Joshi by about 33,000 votes. This time too, we're hearing that she's been lobbying with the BJP to get a ticket from Lucknow Cantonment it looks like that's gone through, which is why reports suggest she could be joining the BJP in just a matter of hours. Now, there are some serious implications of the Yadav Bahu exit. I'm going to give you an insight here on what could possibly happen here. Of course, it's come as a massive embarrassment here for Akhilesh Yadav, the SP itself, right ahead of polls in Uttar Pradesh. We're also looking at 
a big signal now for SP supporters. It appears that a message has been sent out. Uh, this, of course, has come as a massive jolt in the Yadav household itself. Now, of course, we are looking at the messaging here that's also gone out, which does not support or suit the, B the SP's prospects. But for the BJP, it's, it's really a massive booster, undoubtedly. Now, for Akhilesh Yadav, it is confusing signals for the SP supporters. Uh, on one hand, they are the principal opposition there, it appears, or the challenger to the BJP. And now, while the wave is that there are many BJP MLAs defecting and moving to the SP, this reverse uh, joining of Aparna Yadav to the BJP now may just send out a different message. Now, gives a in fact, it gives bragging value over the SP for the BJP. Undoubtedly, for them, this is something to boast. Now, we're looking at possible split in the Yadav vote bank. Now, we know that the Yadav vote bank is a primary uh, vote bank for the SP. Um, the backward OBC, uh, the Yadav vote bank as well, is something that the SP boasts of, who's been loyal supporters. Now, it appears with Aparna shifting vote, it could just divide the Yadav vote bank for Akhilesh. Now, for the BJP, it shows Akhilesh not in control of his own family. It appears that there's a split within the own family. He can't handle his own household. What can he handle the rest? Now, for Akhilesh, it's a big blow after truce with warring uncle Shivpal. Now, Chacha Ji is finally on board, uh, has come back to uh, partner with the SP ahead of polls. But unfortunately, it appears that Akhilesh did not know what was coming within his own household. And for the BJP here, it's possible gain of women voters leaning to the SP. Now... Of course, uh, the BJP is trying to push women ahead. It seems like Aparna Yadav also will further their agenda. Now, ahead of the upcoming assembly elections in Uttar Pradesh, SP chief and Azamgarh MP Akhilesh Yadav is now likely to contest the upcoming assembly elections. Akhilesh Yadav will be addressing a press conference also in the, later today. In fact, he had earlier said that he would not contest polls, would prefer to focus on every seat in the state. Akhilesh Yadav has never contested state assembly polls and this would be a first for him. In fact, Chief Minister Yogi's decision now to take poll plunge from Gorakhpur and Deputy Chief Minister Kesha Prasad Maurya's decision to contest from Sirathu seems to have forced Akhilesh now to change his mind. Reports of Akhilesh Yadav contesting this election came on the day his sister-in-law, Aparna Yadav, joined the BJP in Delhi. BSP Chief Mayawati now, we know that is not contesting polls. देखिए ये मन से चुनाव तो नहीं लड़ने हो जा रहे हैं भरे मन से चुनाव लड़ने जा रहे हैं क्योंकि जिस तरह से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने आदरणीय योगी जी को आदरणीय केशव मौर्य को जो लड़ाने की बात की है उसको लेकर कहीं ना कहीं एक प्रश्न तो वहाँ इनके और सदस्य उठा ही रहे होंगे कि आखिर आप क्यों नहीं लड़ेंगे चुनाव तो अब भरे मन से ये एक अभी आवाज़ है चुनाव उनाव लड़ना पसंद करते नहीं हैं बैकडोर से आए थे तो बैकडोर से ही वो सत्ता पाए थे इसलिए मैदान में जाने वाले लोग जो होते हैं वो मैदान में हमेशा दिखाई देते हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी का एक एक कार्यकर्ता सेवा भाव के लिए मैदान में रहता है और ये स्वार्थ के लिए आज और या मजबूरी के तहत चुनाव में जा रहे हैं तो उसका परिणाम उनको पता है अच्छी तरह से पता है उत्तर प्रदेश के पूर्व मुख्यमंत्री और समाजवादी पार्टी के वर्तमान अध्यक्ष श्री अखिलेश यादव जी अपने परिवार में ही सफल नहीं है और प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में भी असफल रहे हैं सांसद के रूप में भी असफल हैं और उनको इतना लंबा समय भारतीय जनता पार्टी प्रत्याशियों की पहली सूची आई हमारे माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी का मेरा भी नाम पहली सूची में आया लेकिन अभी भी कहते थे कि हमने बड़ा विकास किया है जो विकास योजनाएं आती थी उस पर स्टीकर चस्पा करने का काम की हमने ये शुरू किया है और कोई विकसित क्षेत्र उनके द्वारा जो विकास किया गया उस क्षेत्र से उनके अंदर All right, here are the live visuals coming in of Aparna Yadav as she is joined the BJP right here in Delhi. She meets with all the BJP top guns, including Yogi Adityanath, the Chief Minister, who is beside her. JP Nadda was also seen there. Now oh, there you go, JP Nadda, Yogi Adityanath, Kesha Prasad Maurya there, the deputy. Uh, Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, who's uh, 
greeting her and welcoming her into the BJP's fold. This comes certainly as a big embarrassment to the SP, undoubtedly, as uh, the SP has been lately boasting and bragging of uh, the number of BJP MLAs who've defected and joined hands with the SP. Now it appears they didn't have control of their own household. Mulayam Singh, who is Akhilesh's father, Mulayam Singh's daughter-in-law, Mulayam Singh's younger son's wife has joined the SP, uh, joined the BJP now, in with full heart, uh, heartfelt welcome there that she has received by the BJP. A big welcome to her, and right on the day that uh, Aparna Yadav has joined the BJP, SP chief Akhilesh Yadav says he is going to take the poll plunge. He is now going to be contesting polls. Let me quickly cut across to Samar Srivastava joining us from Lucknow for more on that. Samar, Aparna Yadav now joins the BJP. She comes to Delhi and she is, has been formally inducted. Um, in fact, a big welcome to her. It appears that the BJP is all smiles. And on the same day, SP Chief Akhilesh Yadav decides that he wants to contest polls. Take us through what's brewing. See, Aparna Yadav's joining to BJP could be seen as a win for BJP because they were suffering back-to-back back-to-back -back backlashes with the departure of ministers like Swami Prasad Maurya, Dharam Singh Saini, Dara Singh and many MLAs through the Samajwadi Party. And it is being seen as a hitback by the Saffron Party to the Samajwadi Party. But what, what political experts believe that Aparna Yadav doesn't have any solid vote bank in the state of Uttar mm. Pradesh and his his departure from Samajwadi Party to BJP, B, BJP would not gain much, for, not even for SP and not also for BJP. And if you talk about Akhilesh Yadav, yes, he has decided to contest in Uttar Pradesh Vidhan Sabha elections, though there is there are talks about the seat from which seat he'll contest, from which district he'll contest, uh, contest but three districts, Azamgarh, Itawa and Manpuri are in the priority list of Akhilesh Yadav because Azamgarh has been uh, the hub for Samajwadi Party as uh, Samajwadi Party tasted success in Manpuri and Azamgarh. So uh, while Manpuri is the karma bhumi of Mulayam Singh Yadav, Samajwadi pa Party patriarch, so th there's a confusion between Manpuri, Azamgarh and Itawa and in these uh, three districts the seat will be decided like from which seat Akhilesh will contest in the Vidhan Sabha elections and this will be the first time when Akhilesh Yadav will be contesting in the Vidhan Sabha elections. He is the Lok Sabha MP from Azamgarh. So it's going to be worth seeing that few days before, two days back, Yogi Adityanath was announced to that he'll, he'll contest Vidhan Sabha elections from Gorakhpur and now, two days after Akhilesh Yadav in a way, unofficially announcing that he will contest in the Uttar Pradesh Vidhan Sabha election. So it's a clear-cut fight in the Uttar Pradesh ahead of this this particular election with the departure of Aparna Yadav. It's a clear-cut pressure-building politics by the BJP to the SP because because if you're targeting some family, so it's it will it will build some pressure on Akhilesh Yadav and Samajwadi Party. Though it won't shift much vote bank of Yadav or any other anybody else. But yes, it's a pressure-building politics and it may give to success to BJP in the coming time. So this is a big thing and Akhilesh Yadav will also hold up his constituent in which we can expect Akhilesh Yadav replying to the Aparna Yadav's joining and his, his him contesting from Vidhan Sabha elections. Because if you talk about Azamgarh, it has around 10 seats. Five uh, in the 2017 elections, five went to Samajwadi Party, four went to BSP, whilst one went to BJP. Out of four candidates of BSP, three have joined Samajwadi Party and one have joined BJP. So in a way, SP dominates in Azamgarh. While if you talk about Manpuri, there are four seats, four Vidhan Sabha seats, in which three belongs to Samajwadi Party and one to BJP. Right. While in Itawa, three out of three, two belongs to BJP and one Jasman Nagar belongs to Shubhra. All right, stay with us. I'm going to quickly cut across to our reporter, Hibanshu Mishra, speaking with Aparna. I have to say that 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 I have तो मुझे लगता है कि ये मेरी एक नई पारी है मैं राष्ट्र आराधना के लिए निकली हूं और बस मैं यही कहूंगी सभी से कि मैं आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी और हमारे प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री जी से बहुत प्रभावित हूं और उनकी जितनी भी नीतियां हैं महिलाओं के लिए उनके स्वावलंबी जीवन के लिए उनके स्वाभिमान की रक्षा के लिए ये मुझे नैतिक रूप से बहुत भाती हैं इसीलिए मैं इस पार्टी को मैंने ज्वाइन किया है आपने कहा राज धर्म सर्व परिय है क्या समाज राष्ट्र धर्म सर्व परिय है क्या अखिलेश यादव समाजवादी पार्टी राज धर्म को नहीं निभा रही थी देखिए मैं परिवार से कोई विमुख वाली बात नहीं रखूंगी मैं बस इतना कहूंगी कि मेरी अपनी पर्सनल ओपिनियन है और प्रदेश में जिस प्रकार से पांच सालों में काम हुआ है आदरणीय मुख्यमंत्री श्री योगी जी के नेतृत्व में और जितनी भी जो स्कीम्स लॉन्च हुई हैं 
नारी सशक्तिकरण के लिए रोजगार के लिए और सभी चीज़ों के लिए लॉ एंड ऑर्डर के लिए ये बहुत ज़्यादा जो है मुझे लगता है कि प्रभावशाली है एक अंतिम सवाल आपसे कितनी सीटें आप सोचती हैं कि बीजेपी जीतेगी और क्या आप भी चुनाव लड़ेंगे लखनऊ कैंट से मेरे लिए पार्टी जो भी सुनिश्चित करेगी वो मेरे लिए शीरोधार्य होगा मैं किसी शर्त पे यहाँ नहीं आई हूँ मुझे बस इतनी बात कहनी है कि भाजपा सरकार बनाएगी ये थी अपर्णा यादव जिनका ये कहना है कि भाजपा सरकार बनाएगी वो परिवार पर कोई किसी तरीके की टिप्पणी नहीं करेंगी लेकिन इतना तय है की अपर्णा चुनाव लड़ेंगे कैमरा पवन के साथ हिमांशु मिश्रा दिल्ली आज तक All right, there you have it. Uh, Aparna Yadav speaks exclusively to India today. In her first exclusive conversation, speaks of how she admires the BJP and wants to work. Let me cut across to Pallavi Saha as well, tracking the same story. Leave there. the Samajwadi Party. <laughs> Well, uh, Paul will be there uh, trying to get a word from Aparna Yadav. Remember, Aparna Yadav has now just joined the BJP. She is a new inductee. It's a big blow to the SP, undoubtedly. Right ahead of polls, it appears that the BJP has breached the Yadav household. Now, uh, certainly bragging rights for the BJP after they lost out on many of their MLAs who joined the SP just ahead of polls. It appears this is a big win that comes in the face of polls. Uh, messaging also that sends out uh, to uh, people across Uttar Pradesh that. This won't will not be an easy fight. Of course, the. The who's just joined the Bharatiya Janata Party, ma'am. What was the reason that you chose to leave the Samajwadi Party and join the Bharatiya Janata Party? I think nationalism is a very important aspect and has been always very important aspect of my life. Uh, not only this, I have always been very, very uh, profoundly, in fact, indelibly impressioned by whatever honourable Prime Minister and uh, honourable uh, Chief Minister of UP, Shri Yogi Adityanath Ji, has said. Whatever their policies are, I think I adhere to it. I abide by them. and i really respect both of them so i think i joined this party so that i can serve my nation better no but the bjp is of course suggesting that you know there is a rift within the family and you've left the family and this is a big blow and embarrassment for the yadav family that you've joined the bharatiya janata party main koi parivar se vimukh nahi hu mere sath parivar ka aashirwad hai mere bado ka aashirwad hai aur main bas yahi kahungi ki unhone aapko rokne ki koshish ki ye sab baaton ka koi samay nahi hai main bas itna jaan जानती हूँ कि मैंने राष्ट्र आराधना के लिए अपने जीवन को समर्पण किया है भाजपा के साथ और मैं यही करूंगी इलेक्शन जो भी मेरे लिए पार्टी सुनिश्चित करेगी बीजेपी मुझे शीरोधार्वेशन अखिलेश यादव माइट बी अनाउंसिंग इज कैंडिडेचर फॉर दसेंबली इलेक्शन टूडे हाउ डू यू सी दैट Uh, whatever is uh, you ask him now now we are in two different parties how confident are you of the bjp's victory ma'am 100% sure bjp is going to make the government all right okay thank you so much for speaking with us that was aparna yadav of course speaking exclusively to india today call me sir in delhi for india today <laughs> Or there you have it Aparna Yadav in the first conversation speaks to India today uh, speaks about how BJP she is confident that BJP will come to power in Uttar Pradesh also uh, when asked whether she is going to be contesting the seat from Lucknow can she says that it's up to the party whatever they give she will take it wholeheartedly now uh, you also spoken about uh, in fact you had Pallavi Saha asking her about SP chief Akhilesh Yadav for for egg into electoral politics now he is going to be contesting himself she says that the question should be directed to him not me because now we're in different parties aparna yadav says she's wholeheartedly uh, welcomed in the bjp and she will follow as per what the bjp says now there's no confirmation on whether she's been given the lucknow can't take it or not but for now she says she will go as per what the party says she's uh, she also claims that she's admired prime minister modi and she really wants to work for the nation and therefore bjp is the right party to take her ambitions forward